All right, guys, welcome back for episode number 10 of our Flutter, Firebase, and Block series where we are creating an entire app using those uh, three services. So today we'll focus on the profile picture. Uh, so let's jump right into it. So the goal for today is going to be here on the top left of our app, being able to click on it, uh, take a picture from the gallery of the phone, upload this picture to our Firebase storage. See here, navigated to the pro to the Firebase project that we have. So we want to store the picture somewhere here instead in inside the storage. We want to get the download URL of this picture and paste it inside our user document inside our Firestore database and basically replace this empty string right here with the URL of the picture. So basically, I've uh, actually started to implement a little things before uh, we get started. I've actually recorded the video once, but I had a problem. So I'm just going to walk you through the procedure here. So first, what you want to do under your main prospect that YAML file is import those two packages, image picker and image cropper. Image picker is going to help us in order to access the gallery of the phone and select the picture. And image cropper is going to allow us to define that we want an image that's a format of one by one, a square, and we can then uh, uh, compress it a little bit so it doesn't take much space. So once you've imported that, you will want to navigate under the iOS folder, the runner folder, and info.plist. And right here, you see I've highlighted a series of keys that you need to import in order to make the app working. So you need to import all of those right here, all of those key values. And then you need to close your app and rerun it again, okay? Otherwise, if you just hot reload, it's not gonna work. You need to close the app and relaunch it. And once you've, once you've done with that, we can move ahead. So close that, close the perspect.yaml file, and I will make it a little collapsing here. So if you navigate to your folder lib app view, you'll see right here, I've actually uh, uh, added a new block provider to our uh, multi-block provider that lead us to our home screen. And this block provider is update user info block, okay? And this block we didn't create it yet and we are gonna create it just after that. But basically what this block does, it's gonna be able to uh, take the event that we want to update the user info fields. So we want to update the picture field right here of our user, our my user that we are dealing with inside this series. Uh, and then do uh, the uploads and, and the transformation in Firestore uh, that I told you about, and then return a state of upload picture success or something like this. So basically, you want to go ahead and save that inside your uh, app view uh, dot dart. And now we're focusing on we're going to be focusing on the uh, the uh, user info block. So you want to navigate under lib blocks and then create a new block which is called update user info block and with those three files with it. Remember, if you just click on blocks, right click on it and uh, block new block, you can directly create it here. And this is available because you have added the extension block right here. So just a little side note. So the um, update user info event. So we are gonna create our abstract event class here, update user info event. Okay, so that's standard. And then we add our custom event, which is gonna be upload picture. We take two fields, a file, so the picture itself, and the user ID, so we can identify the right document inside our database uh, to, uh, to, uh, to put the, uh, the, the, the download URL of the picture, constructor and props, because we're extended equitable. So that's done for the uh, info event, very straightforward. Now let's move to the state. Same here, you have your uh, uh, normal uh, uh, update user info state uh, class, and then you have different kind of, uh, of, uh, of states. So the initial state, that's fair enough. And then you have upload picture failure. Okay, so if there is a problem inside the upload, loading, okay. And you have upload picture success, which takes a string parameter. And this user image parameter is gonna be the download URL of the picture that we've stored inside Firebase storage. And with that, we'll be able to actually reset our picture field from our, our my user class to this user image right here. 
that's going to have as a consequence to display the URL right there. So user info state, very much done, straightforward, no problems. Now let's talk about the block itself. So basically you have your custom block as, as we've created before uh, with a user repository parameter. We are inside the constructor of requiring a user repository parameter and affecting our private user uh, uh, repository parameter to the one that was passed inside the constructor. Yelling at first, emitting at first, sorry, the update user info initial state. And then on our event that's called upload picture, okay, we want to do several stuff. So first we want to emit upload picture loading as a state, okay. And then inside the try, try catch, if there is a problem, some sort of errors, we want to emit upload picture failure as a state. And inside the try, we want to have a, a string, which is our user image, and it's going to await user repository dot upload picture. So the, 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 the method, the function upload picture that we are going to create right now, that takes a string for the file and a string for the user ID, which you will find inside your event uh, right there of type upload picture. And then you want to emit a upload picture success uh, state with this download URL string that was uh, just passed from the upload picture. So now let's go for the upload picture uh, method. So remember, uh, so we, we're going to navigate under, not under lib, but under packages, user repository, lib, source, user repository, user repo.dart. And here you want to add this new method upload picture, which is a future, a, a future of type string and takes a file and a user ID, both strings as parameters. And then you want to navigate to your Firebase user repository.dart to actually implement this method, which is right here. So let me walk you through the entire method. So we transform the file, the string that we have as a file. And basically the file here, this string that we are passing for the, the, the method is just the path, the entire path of the image. Okay. So we are passing that and transforming it into a file. Then we are creating a Firebase storage reference. Okay. By importing the Firebase storage package. So you want to go inside your perspect.yaml file in the user repository level and actually import Firebase storage and Firebase core. Okay. You want to do that, save this file and it will do a pub get, and then you can navigate back here. Okay. On your Firebase user repository .dart. So utilizing the Firebase storage package dot instance dot ref dot child. And here is where the path of uh, the, 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 the picture that we're going to send to Firebase storage. So basically we're going to create a folder that will have as a name, the user ID, then another folder under that, which is called PP for profile picture. And then we'll put the file itself that we are renaming by the user ID underscore lib. And that's going to be the name of our file. Okay. Once that done, we want to await Firebase storage reference that we've just created and use the method put file. Okay. And passing him the image file this file that we just created from our path, the, the, the path of our photo right there. Okay. So this as a, as a result is going to upload the picture to Firebase storage. Then remember, we want to get the download URL from that. So now this is exactly what we're doing from here. We want to, so the string URL, we are awaiting. So same Firebase storage reference. So here we know exactly uh, the, the right document that we want to get access to and accesses, accessing the method get download URL. Okay. And this returns a string. And so basically then we want to update fire firebase fire store our database by accessing our user collection right there and the document, uh, which has our user ID and then use the method update that takes a map. Okay. And we want to access the parameter picture and replace our empty string uh, that's actually there with the download URL that we just uh, took from Firebase storage. And then because we want to return a string from this, from this uh, method, we're just returning the URL. And if there is a, an error, we are re and logging the exception right there. 
So basically, this is exactly, uh, this is exactly right. And this is uh, all you have to do for uploading a picture. So basically this method is gonna, is gonna first upload the picture to Firebase storage right here under the same file structure we talked about, and then get the URL from this file and put the URL under the right document inside the picture field inside our uh, database. Okay, so that's done, okay? So we can close Firebase user repository. We are not needing that anymore. Uh, another thing, sorry, before we closing user repository, you'll want to navigate under user repository, uh, lib source model, my user. And here, remember we had, you, you should have all your, your, your fields final. Uh, just put your picture field non-final. Uh, you're gonna have a little exception right here, but you don't care. It's just to make everything more simple uh, for everyone inside this series. So that's that's the only thing that you need to change right there. Okay. The same. The other. The other, all the other stuff are the same. So once you've done that, you can really close and close the user repository. You won't need that anymore. So here uh, we are, remember, on the app view.dart and we are navigating to the home screen. So the home screen, it's this screen right there. So our picture is here inside the app bar. So if we navigate and, and, and scroll a little bit down, you'd see we have our app bar right there. And under title, you won't have this block builder, but we'll, you'll need to add it because you only have this row with the container uh, uh, that represents what we have on the screen right now. So basically what you want to do is wrap the row that you have with the block builder of type my user block, my user state. And then a block builder, we have a builder, okay, that takes a context and a state, here a my user state. And we want to say if the state dot status is equal to my user status dot success, okay, so we have well received the document from Firebase, okay, from Firebase Firestore, our user document or my user document, we want to return a row of that, okay? And so if you navigate to appview.dart, you, you already have that, but here it's exactly why you're doing that. You're feeding your home screen with a block provider of type my user block and adding a state of get my user. And this get my user event is Remember, I'm gonna navigate under the right document inside our Firestore uh, database, take uh, the map that represent our my user object, and then my user uh, entity is gonna take that map, transform it into a my user object, and then we're using this my user object right here inside our UI. So you've wrapped everything inside the block builder, nice. Here now, it, it's where it's coming, uh, we, it's coming a little different. So I've prepared this. So we want to say, if state.user.picture okay, is equal to an empty string, which is default normally in our app, we want to return only like a normal, uh, a normal uh, widget, which would, be, uh, which would be exactly the widget that we have on the screen right now, okay? So we can remove that and just do that, okay? So if our state.user.picture is equal to an empty string, we want to return, well, this widget right here. Otherwise, we want to be able to return the actual image that we have from Firebase storage, okay? So let me navigate under that and just take that, okay? Don't worry, so here, same container, okay? Really same container, same width, same height, everything is the same, except that inside the box decoration, we are accessing the image parameter, setting into a decoration image and a network image, and the network image, sorry, takes a URL, and this URL, well, it's the state.user.picture, okay? That's pretty good. If you save that, you'd see that nothing is changing, that's very normal. Why you'd ask me is because here you can see inside your console, we are actually taking my user state. Okay, so my user state dot, dot success. So we have well received our document and our my user document actually looks at something like this. So we have our ID, our user ID right here, our email, 
right here, our name, and here is actually an empty string, which is our, our picture. And if we navigate to Firestore, here you'd see that's email, ID, name, and the picture is empty. So that's pretty, that's pretty good. Now we want to actually upload an image. So what, what we want to do, we want to be able to click on that. So here, wrap our container with a gesture detector. You might have seen in just under all that as commented code. It's because I've already did it once and the uh, recording didn't work, so I'm just gonna do it again. So accessing the on tap method of this gesture detector, okay? And here, we're gonna utilize the code that I've just done, okay? So here, we first want to do that. So let me take that code and paste it right here so you'd see. So first, you need to import image picker, okay? And then make your on tap method asynchronous because there is gonna be some async gap right here. So first, we are creating an image picker object, okay? And then we are creating this X file uh, parameter that we call image, okay? And it's just gonna await the picker, so the image picker that we've done, accessing the pick image method, okay? And saying that the source is gallery. So it's here, for instance, that you can also say camera, right? If you want to make a pop-up on your app saying you want to either take camera or gallery, go ahead and do that. But for now, we're just gonna keep it sing, uh, keep things very simple. You can set a max height, max, max width, quality of image, and a lot of other stuff right there. So basically now, if, if I save all that and perhaps um, rebuild my entire app, okay, you'd see if I click on it, the, the gallery of my uh, emulator is gonna open, which is pretty good. But if I click on something, nothing is gonna happen. Yeah, well, of course, yes, uh, something's happening here because I took a JPEG method, a JPEG picture instead of a PNG picture. But if you take a right one, nothing is gonna happen. That's pretty normal. So the next step, is to say all that. So basically, I'm gonna take all of this if statement and paste it under here, and I'm gonna walk you through it. So basically, you want to first import crop image cropper. So import image cropper. So then what we are doing right there. So we're creating a cropped file, which is an object of cropped file, of, of type of cropped file, okay? And then we are awaiting image cropper dot crop image, which is a method from image cropper, all right? We are passing in the source path, which is our image.path, so the image that we just picked with the image picker, okay? And we're having an if different than null here because if, well, we cancel, let's say we click on here and cancel, the image will be null and we don't want to go here with an empty path, okay? And you have different parameter from the image cropper that you can access, aspect ratio here, we want to be one, one, uh, we also want to set the preset to be only the square preset, and you can access as well some UI settings if you feel like it uh, and customize your app really as you need. And here now, if we uh, reload, hot reload everything, if I click on it, this is done by the image picker, okay? I select an image with the image picker, and this is the image cropper that allows me to crop my image. So it's basically done here. I have nothing else to do. I click on done and well, nothing's happening yet, but let's finish this on tap method. So we want, we've done through that, through that. And now the last thing that we have to do is this. So up under that, just under here, we want to say if crop file, which is the same logic as before, except it's not images here, if crop file is different than null, okay? We want to say set state and access the context.read.update user info block. Remember the block that we're creating at the beginning of the video and add a new event, which is called upload picture and pass in the image.path and the context.read.myUser. Perfect. But here it's not gonna be the, 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 the image is gonna be the crop file path. Yeah, the crop file path. That was a mistake I did the last time, isn't it? Yeah, that was a mistake I did. Perfect, well, anyway, that's done. And so right here, it's gonna be, it's gonna be done for the on tap method and will be pretty much set. Well, almost, because now, if we upload a picture, we won't be able to see it directly. For that, we need to wrap our entire scaffold with a block listener. 
and see I've already done it. So here you have your scaffold and you want to wrap your scaffold with a block listener of type user update user info block and update user info state. And this block listener has a listener method, the context and a state. So here it's going to be a update user info state. And basically you want to say, well, if the state is upload picture success, you want to access our current my user object and the picture field inside my user object and set it to the user uh, image, which is the download URL from Firebase storage that we have. Okay. And so right there, because we are using set state, we'll be able to see the image right there. So let me reload my app and show you if it works. So we are going to take this image. So the image picker is here. Now it's the image cropper. We're going to click on done. And now see, perfect. The image is right here. And if we navigate to Firestore, so Firebase storage, you'd see here that our picture field inside our user uh, document was updated. And if we navigate to Firebase storage, you'd see that there is a new folder, which is with text the, the ID of the user, another subfolder, which is called PP, and then it's profile picture. And then you have the user ID underscore lead which is the actual image. And this is the URL that we are, that we are taking inside Firebase storage, uh, Firebase Firestore, sorry, our database. And so that's pretty much it for uh, the picture. Now it's working perfect. And every time we reset our app, well, we'll all the time be displaying the picture because remember here we say if the state.user.picture is equal to an empty string. We do all of this. And if not, right here, if not, we are returning a gray container and all this. But here, uh, we are returning not a gray container, sorry, we are returning our network image right there. Another perhaps improvement that you can do is allow the user to change the picture once he already has one. Well, that's very straightforward. You just need to wrap your container right here with the entire same method of on top that we just created right there. And you will allow the user to change his profile picture even though he already has one. Okay, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you very much for watching it and I will see you in the next one. In the next one. Don't forget to subscribe and to like this video. Bye-bye, guys.